Good morning, fifth grade. I hope you guys are doing well today. Happy Wednesday to you. I know some of you commented last night on the picture of Trooper, and he's doing well. And as you know, we also have a big dog named Lincoln. Now, Lincoln stays outside until the evening, and then he comes into our garage. He has a perimeter around our house that he can enjoy and he can run and play, but if he goes beyond that perimeter, the uh, collar that he wears lets him know by a little shock. And he has learned over the years exactly what his perimeter is. So your lesson yesterday in arithmetic was an introduction to perimeter. And perimeter is a geometric word that just simply means to find the distance around a polygon. So in our classroom, the walls are the perimeter of the class. Some of your homes may have a fence around the perimeter of your yard. So when we're dealing with perimeter, there are two ways you can find perimeter. One would be to add all of the um, measures together, and the other one is to use a formula. Now in your book on section two, it says use addition to find perimeter. And letter A, again I'm on page 251, lesson 139, was to simply add the sides of your triangle. So hopefully when you added nine yards, five yards, and seven yards, you had an answer of 21 yards, which is simply added. The same thing for letter B. Uh, that hexagon, when you added all of the sides, hopefully you got the answer, 72 feet. And it's important to use those measurements with the answer. But on the back page, you probably notice that there is a formula that you can use. Now remember, a formula is like a recipe. Now I'm not known for my cooking, but if I do cook, I have to use a recipe. And I follow it very carefully, and sometimes it turns out well, and sometimes it doesn't turn out well, even if I follow a recipe. This formula is like a recipe, and you want to write it down for each problem. And I know sometimes that can be a bit tedious, but I'm telling you, the best math students use their formulas consistently. So for a rectangle, which of course this card is in the shape of a rectangle, you would use this formula. P equals two times L plus two times W. L stands for length, W stands for width. Remember, L length is always longer, and then your width is the shorter. Now we've talked a bit before about this. Whatever is within parentheses is what we do first. So you will multiply your length and your width first. Then you will add the two together for your final answer. Let's take a look at an example on the board. Our length is nine feet and the width is seven feet. So I have my formula, P equals two times L plus two times W. Now I will simply plug in the numbers. The length, nine, and the width, seven. Following my formula, I multiply before adding. Two times nine equals 18, and two times seven is 14. Once we have done that, then we simply finish the problem by adding. Eight plus four equals 12, and one plus one plus one would be 32. Therefore, our perimeter equals 32 feet. Let's take a look at another example. Now we have M. Do you remember what M stands for? Notice there's no period. This is for meter. It's just another way to measure length using the metric system. So I'm gonna shift our formula over. P equals two times L plus two times W. I hope you're saying that with me. So let's plug in. Length is always the longer, two times 14, plus our width, two times 12, 12 meters. So we have 12 times two, which is 24, and then 14 times two, which is 28. Now that we've multiplied within our parentheses, we can finish by adding. Eight plus four is 12, carry that one. One plus two is three, plus two is five. So my perimeter for this particular polygon would be 52 meters. Don't forget those units of measures. I'll be checking in your book to see if you have that. Now, you have a story problem on 1A, page 251. Mr. Hill plans to put a rectangular fence around his yard. His yard is 96 yards long and 49 yards wide. How many yards of fencing does he need? I about had to break out the glasses for that one. So what am I doing? We know it's a rectangular fence. Um, so obviously it's perimeter, P equals two times L plus two times W. 
Multiply two times 96, two times 49, add those together, and let's see if you got the right answer. It is 290 yards. Now on your back page, section three, use that formula for each of those. There are only four that you have to do. Remember, you don't have to do the additional practice problems, but be sure that you are using your formulas to find those answers. Now let's jump ahead to today's lesson, which is perimeter of a square. Again, the distance around a polygon. So we're using a different formula because it's a different shape. A square has four congruent sides. So we simply multiply four, times S. S stands for sine. Use that formula. So we're going to say 4 times 7.1. Now you can multiply horizontally like that, but I think I'm going to go ahead and switch it to a vertical multiplication problem. I like doing it that way better. So we've got 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Do not forget that decimal. Count over one spot in your product and we have our perimeter equals 28 and 4 tenths of feet. There's your formula for that one. So for your square lesson, just remember P equals 4 times S. If you're doing a square for a rectangle, it's 2 times L plus 2 times W. Now, as you're working through the lesson, if you come to a section and you're stumped, send me a note, I'll remind, or via email, and I'll address that. Hope you have a great day.